Okay, this is going to be just a quick little explanation about um, about pinches, about uh, when, you know, one of my PDR students, uh, we're actually, this is technically for him, anybody who's uh, worked with lines or anybody in the past who has worked with lines, my, including my past students, or if you're thinking about learning about lines, um, this is a little bit about uh, when you go to finish your your dent and you just got a little bit left well this one's got a little bit of a crease left and the problem is um, he's trying to finish he's trying to actually finish you know this area oops let me see here this area right let me get that this area right in here okay it's very very tough to, uh, to do it's either you've got a You've got to start up here and walk your dent in and close this gap. So you see this, this space right here, this this white right between there. That's that's the that's the low. That's the pit. You can see how it looks when it's not. Now I'm looking at the black line. See this this left side, this left line. That's normal. Okay, that's how you want your lines to look. Even if you're looking at the white, it's a solid straight white line. Okay, here you've got a split. Okay, you look. We're looking at the black line, and it's got a split in it, and then you got a little edge right here. Well, there's two things you can do. You can either pinpoint that with a very sharp tool, but I highly recommend a little protection on there so you don't you don't make high spots or mini crack marks or poke marks, and um, you can basically pinpoint on there and make it nice and high, basically nice solid skinny black line okay so that's the that's the first step I would I would do or that well, actually that's one of the hardest steps to do okay or you can knock down the edge right here right there okay both sides knock it down you're gonna have to widen it up now here's the thing a lot of people don't want to knock it down because there's they feel that they're so close that they feel like maybe I should just push well if you're not 100% and I'm talking perfect, if you're not perfect, it's going to punish you. What you meant, what I mean by that is you're going to make little high spots all around the center but not hit the center. That's when you're you're working on your your precision, okay? And it's the hardest thing to do for even for a veteran tech, okay? So you can either try to pinpoint it, which is going to to me in my opinion going to be very very hard. Or you can knock knock it down the edges because when it's more shallow, it's more easier to pinpoint. It's like it becomes like a game of horseshoes. You don't have to be perfect to to win. And what I mean by that is when you take this, the edge out of the center and it's shallow, all you have to do is be in the semi area of the center when you're pushing, and it will come up. It'll come up more cooperative, and you don't have to be as precise. So. Let me let me show the next photo. Okay, so we are we are here. Okay, so what I did is I knocked down the edge. Okay, and it's not quite down. And I actually knocked down the right side first. You see how the difference is between that side and this side? It's still a little pinched on the left side. It's got a little bit of a hardness and a little bit of an edge right there. Let me go back to the other photo. Okay. So see that sharpness right there? That's that's what I'm trying to knock down. Okay, here's here's what it looks like after. Look at look at nice and puffy it is right there. That's what we want. Nice and puffy. The left side, excuse me, it's still a little sharp. Still a little sharp. Again, it, it, you want to make this as shallow and nice as possible. Okay. I made now now I tap down the left side. Okay and it still may appear sharp. It is a little bit, okay? That's because of the photo, how it was taken. But if you moved your head left and right, uh, you could tell that the line was more shallow, didn't have any hard edges in there, and that makes it much easier to take a tooltip and push it because, again, you don't have to be as precise. Take the hard edge out of anything that you do. You do not want sharp edges around your center. If you have sharp edges around the center or it looks tight, knock it down. Don't be afraid to make it bigger. Bigger is making it smaller 
It's helping the center cooperate when you go to push. If you like tight, pushing tight, and you notice you're making a high spots and you poke marks and you can't get the center to come up, it's because it's tight. And, and if you're tight, you're not going to be able to get it loose. Okay? So here it is again. We, we could probably knock down a little bit more right here. And this edge, you see this little, little high spot right there? A little bit of a pinch in here. But we want to make it, again, nice and shallow. Okay, so I had Eric actually push it. Actually, he this is actually he started pushing. I'm sorry. And he made just a little bit, but I had him continue to go. You'll see what I mean by how, how it's going. Now, this isn't a full tutorial. I'm not going to see the end of it. I'm just trying to help anybody out who's trying to think about pushing the lines and uh, why they can't get past a certain point. You get to that part where it's 90, 95%. And you just can't get past that. Well, this is this is probably one solution. Okay, it's not the not the answer to everything, but it's one solution. Just keep this in mind. Okay, so the next shot is that he see he got it down. All right, and he he's got it straight. He's almost got it got it out. But see this little part right here. You got a center pit right here. And you got a center pit right here, and you got a little bit right here. A little fatness up here. Because how the look at look at compare to the lines. Look at this side, the left side. Okay, look at down here. This is all normal, but right here, you got a little bit of a a low, a little bit of a sliver of that crease in there, a little bit of fatness here. And same thing right here. So there's two things you can do. Again, you can you can pinpoint it out, which I would probably do because I'm very accurate with my tooltip at a veteran stage. I would do that. Or you can knock it down, okay, which I recommend for people who are newbies because it's going to make your life easier. And I know you guys are afraid to make it bigger because you think you're going backwards and you're not and you're getting further away. But you'll notice when you make it bigger and then you go to push, you're right back in the same spot within within minutes or seconds because the dent's already stretched and it has memory. It wants to go back, back to its original shape. But you got to knock down this wall to make it even more smaller, these, these edges, okay? All right, so I magnified a little bit more. And uh, just to show you, to give you a different perspective, it's a little blurry. I apologize. It's shot on an iPhone. And believe it or not, this is pretty dang good for an iPhone. I mean, it picked up some pretty good detail. All right, so it's the same thing but magnified. And here's another shot the same way, a different little bit different angle, okay? So here's a little bit of a sliver in there with this. And this is how close I'm getting my students. And Eric, this is for you too because this is, um, <clears throat> if you're watching, this is how dang darn close you are from finishing this dent completely. And this is on, this is on his seventh day. So he's, you know, doing very, very well. It's incredibly hard to pinpoint. Uh, things with your tool at pits um, so it takes a lot of practice and a lot of more patience so that's where we're at i hope a little bit of this tutorial explained again this is just kind of like in the middle of a dent tutorial if you get it great if you don't i highly suggest to watch some other videos i have uh, check out uh, deep dings 101 that's probably much the full start to finish uh, about something similar about what i'm talking about okay uh, so anyways, take care. My name is Mike Toledo. See ya.